Welcome to Max's Corner. This YouTube channel is all about my sports memorabilia collection. So if you like to see cool sports cards and sports autographs, make sure to subscribe to this channel and you can go follow me on Instagram. You can find me at Max's underscore corner YT. Let's get into today's video. Today is a little different. Um, we are doing another guess the autograph. So I'm going to take this out and we're going to put it in a ball cube. And then if I can't tell who the autograph is, um, by the private signing um, based on the auto based on the signature then we're gonna ask for hints until we can guess it and you guys can guess along with me and I have no clue who this is so let's open it up and put it in a ball cube yeah I always have trouble opening this Let's put it in a ball cube. My dad knows who it is, so he's going to be giving, giving us the clues, and let's start guessing. Okay, so by the autograph, um, I can't really tell who it is. Um, obviously, they got inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1999, but I'm not so good at remembering who was inducted into the Hall of Fame what years, so I think we're going to ask for our first clue. Okay, so the first clue was that uh, they played for the Giants and Cardinals and was a first and third, or first and outfielder, first baseman and outfielder. So, uh, man, I s mm -hmm. I don't know who it is. All right, second clue, please. All right, so the second clue is um, they were voted in by the Veterans Committee and was a Rookie of the Year and MVP. Uh, two great accomplishments, along with Hall of Fame. Those are like the three big accomplishments. But, uh, man, uh, the first letter of the first name kind of looks like an O. And this one is either a C or maybe an A. Because I know on Hank Aaron's autograph, that's kind of what the A in Aaron looks like. So, um... Maybe, I don't know, but I think we're going to ask for a third clue. Okay, so the third clue was a Puerto Rican-born player, and as soon as I heard that, I think I know who it is. Um, Hall of Fame class of 1999, uh, Rookie of the Year, MVP, Puerto Rican-born player, voted in by, by the Veterans Committee. Is it Orlando Cepeda? Yeah, let's go! Okay, so, man, this, wow. Okay, let's talk more about Orlando Cepeda's career. Okay, so Orlando Cepeda, Hall of Fame class of 1999, and he was Rookie of the Year in 1958 and the 1967 NL MVP. And 1967 is also the, the year that he won a World Series with the Cardinals um, and he was teammates with Lou Brock and Bob Gibson and an 11-time All-Star um 2,351 career hits, 379 career home runs, a 297 batting average, and in 1961, he finished second in MVP voting, and in that year, he had 142 RBI with a 311 batting average, which is insane, and uh, 379 career home runs, almost 400, and his career RBI numbers um, 1,365 career RBI, which is insane. I mean, the guy had an amazing career, and he played for more teams than just the Giants and the Cardinals. He also played for the Braves for four years, Cardinals for three, the Giants for nine, Royals and Boston and Oakland for one each. And wow, this is awesome. With the JSA Certificate of Authenticity and um, you need 75% of the votes to get into the Hall of Fame. And his last year of eligibility in 1994, he got 73.5% of the votes. So he was 1.5% uh, uh, away from making it into the Hall of Fame. But luckily, he got voted in by the Veterans Committee. And this ball is an amazing addition to my collection. And it's a little shaky, but hey, Orlando Cepeda, legend. He's pretty old. Um, so, man, this is awesome, and thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Follow me on Instagram. You can find me at Max's underscore IT, and I'll see you guys later.